Dear resident. Dear resident. Dear resident. You could be one of over 100 people selected to take part in the UK wide citizens, citizens assembly on how, how should the, the UK, UK tackle climate change. It was uh, it's an interesting proposition. I'm Amanda from Kent and I'm 27. <laughs> So this weekend is going to be about introducing you to climate change in a thorough way. It was really exciting to be told that I was selected. It just seemed like a very rare opportunity. Initially, I wasn't sure what it would be like because I hadn't done anything like that before. But I'll be honest with you, I didn't have a clue what zero carbon was. I didn't know enough about climate change. I was open to information. There were so many different um, perspectives and opinions. So many people of different ethnicity, different ages. It was so nice to see, you know, the representation of the UK. The fact that you've given up time to come here and take this seriously is of the greatest importance. It felt like the community kind of um, working together towards a problem that the whole world needs to face, to be fair. Obviously, at the moment, we're all on lockdown. Moving on to three internet weekends was quite good. We were still investigating things on our own. I'm not saying we're experts now, but we all have opinions. Everybody's had the taste of this cleaner air. Surely, most people would want that for their children and their grandchildren. Well, if we treat climate change the same way as we're treating coronavirus, then we can do it. We all want the uh, government to take heed of our recommendations. They need to act on it, but also to act on it fast. So it's not about saying, OK, we just keep deliberating over it over the next one year, two years. They are by law bound to try to get to this target. It's got to be done in a fair and positive way. So if we don't act now, we're just going to run out of time and there won't be a future for any of us. And if we can show that we can do it, then perhaps others will follow. I think somebody has to be a leader.